hey, look at you, you're a person, and you want to debug your Electron application or your Node.js application using a visual um, debug suite like Chrome DevTools, but Node Inspector doesn't work very well, and nor does the uh, Node debug um, integrated debugger work with Electron. So, gosh, how do you end up debugging an application? Well, if I can't use the command line and I can't use Node Inspector like the Electron docs say you can, you'd think you'd be out of options, but surprisingly, uh, you can do so with Visual Studio, Microsoft product, which uh, this version, code.visualstudio, or just code, Visual Studio code, only supports Node and some other package, Mono, I think. And it's surprisingly slick. So how do we do it? Um, let's go check it out. So first, let me reset here. I'm in my Electron application. And I'm going to start it kind of similar to the way we already started. Uh, I'm still going to pass the Electron debug flag because that will get the debugger running on port 5858, which is the default port. And because my application requires a development flag while I'm doing this, I'm going to pass in development. It also will bring it up. Our Webpack dev server for this application gets going. It's going to start building the content. I'm then going to go over to my code, <coughs> Visual Studio Code thing here and I'm going to click the debugger pane and I'm going to click the little configuration button and there's a couple things here to notice um, it, you know, we're going to launch a node application because we know that Electron's actually IOJS secretly in the background we're going to provide it our entry point to our application you actually have to explicitly provide the entry point and for our application that's app index.js for the main process and then the other trick is actually providing the Electron executable to runtime executable. And I said the other trick as though that were it, but that's wrong. Um, there's some other stuff that needs to happen. Um, I haven't looked into all the docs, but I think when you provide env, it actually squashes the env that goes into it. So I've put um, the environment variables that we need to make this application work. You'll have to do the ones for yours. Um, and the key thing here is Adam shell internal run as node. Now this doesn't work with like Electron 32 allegedly. There's uh, if you Google around, um, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much Visual Studio Code and this bit and this uh, environment variable here, you'll find it quickly. Um, other than that, you'll see this guy right here uh, for attaching to node. You can do it on localhost or wherever. 5858. Great, now that my application's running, I am going to select, rather than launch, it doesn't work when I launch it uh, for some reason, but I can attach it when I manually launch it. I'm going to hit play, and it's attached now. So let's go listen for some events on some code. So I'm currently debugging um, this file, analyze.js, and I'm going to put a breakpoint on it, because this is where I want to start using the cool debugging features that we can't get out of Node Inspector right now for whatever reason it's not working and we can't get out of uh, command line. So there it is. I'm going to browse to a point in my application that's going to, in the renderer process, send an event to the main process which will trigger that uh, breakpoint to hit. I'm going to run a simulated analysis here and boom! There it is. You can see it stopped on it and I have my basic stuff working. I can, uh, yeah, I can get in there and it's great. Right now I was trying to find this bug and sure enough, I found the bug. The bug is in, uh, where is this? Can I move this? Uh, I guess I can't move this. It's in node models, arrow. Um, arrow is something I was used, using to serialize errors and uh, I was trying to serialize an error that didn't exist. That's why I was failing. Awesome. I couldn't get that before. So hope you find this useful. Uh, I don't know if you, I'm sure there's a way where I can actually evaluate arbitrary expressions, but for now, this is already a great start. Ah, there it is. Error. Null. Cool. Adios.